episode number 12 and welcome to the show episode number 24. This episode is sponsored by Jersey Mike's. Let's get into it. Let me cheat it out real quick, chat. Georgie Mikes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Georgie Mikes. And then I'm gonna show you. I got got some new accessories as well. So we're gonna we're gonna check them out as well. Get chat on my screen. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, chat can you hear me. Alright. Alright, so I got new, some new accessories. So you go to the equipment. Got the, got the push and pee glove. You know, push and pee. Push and pee, push and pee. I got the, the Mike Clout, the Mike Trout cleats. Looking phenomenal. And then, yeah, no more stops. No more stops. And then I got the ritual axle grease for the pitching. So here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go. All right. Let's see. What do I want to do? Yeah, I got a maximum assault. That's why I'm still at 86. I'm not, not there yet. Damn. Alright, we're 8 and 7. Alright, here we go. Here we go, child. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, let's see. That's the pitching matchup. All right, here we go. I know I'm late. I know I started the stream early, but hey, I'm here. Mountains in Denver, Colorado. Sunday baseball here we go. on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Colorado the Cubs Rockies. versus Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Let's go. My New York Mets will play at 7 p.m. tonight. All right, just about ready for baseball. Watch some softball. Watch it. Vanderbilt this got, got sweet Mines. this weekend Not against the um, Tennessee. Looking for better this season. Chris. I'm up in Fanduel baseball yeah, as well. This guy understands that if he doesn't make quicker adjustments and show is movement, getting that out of control. The football has, and basketball will not will last as long as it did come last back, year. So we'll all. see if he can get off to a great start. Perhaps the work that he did in the offseason right. will show good results early on. But he's got to get out of the gates going strong, or else. 
else he may find himself in the bullpen or back in the minor there we leagues. Go. Julio Ramos. Say we'll point, we'll point five now. out. No balls in a strike. Ball the next one. pitch misses. Not and ball. the count is one and one. And he deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Cuddle. And the pitch. That's down and in. Oh. Love these cleats. Got him swinging. Let's go. Sit him down. For strike three. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Yeah, it's oh, that's two. And that one almost got I don't know everybody else I'm having hot dogs. I, I did a three mile run today as well. One down, base is empty. Well, that misses. It's two oh, and two. Oh, come on. It's a good take. Just Please off do. the inside edge. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Okay. pitch and yeah, there's oh, ball four boy, ah what a battle it's not always easy laying off Didn't a three chase. two pitch and i tell you what he earned that walk jonathan does a step to the plate oh, and he swings yeah, that's what I and misses that at the do. initial offering it didn't do Lynch, that the former rookie of the year he features a four seam fastball i also walked down oh my god what i want to do a curve a slider and occasionally uses a cut. The long people that know oh, the goals. He, he had two no, strikes on no. him. And he hit him. Uh, you can see the frustration on his face there. You know he wants that one back. He was trying to go with the breaking ball, but clearly it got away from him this time. Ramon oh, damn it. swings through it for strike one. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And that one in the that, air uh, center field. I got it. I got it. Davis puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Oh shit, boss challenge. I knew that shit was coming. Whoa. All right, two out. I want to record a fly ball. They say you went. Oh, we went. And a pop up right side foul territory. Rubio gets under it. I got it. I got it. And that'll do it. That counts. Two left that for counts. Colorado. That counts. We played an inning. No got, score. That, got that equipment pack. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number right. two. And now it's going to be Sean Bouchard. They say you went. You went. Sean Bouchard went. Strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Come on. That one misses. And the count one and two. Got him looking for the strike. Got him. Called strike three and a fastball in up in the zone. Number 15 digging in for the Rockies. And there's the strike. There we go. Good K. Well strike. Second inning here. No score. And there's the strike of the outside corner. There we go. And the count is 0 and 2. Cuts on it and misses. Oh. That's a strikeout. 
couldn't catch up to two the K's, two K's in the top. with the fastball on two, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Benny Montgomery now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. Bounce to third. There we go. Play made that ends the end. Easy. Come on. Nothing doing for the Rockies. We'll move to the third. Come on. Back here in Denver as we go to the last of the third. So in now for Colorado. Hunter Goodman. There we go. There's the strike. Goodman getting the started catcher. 25 years old. And he was drafted in the fourth round nope. in 2021. Mm, I don't know about that. The 1 1. And a big swing and a miss. One, one, two. 1 2. count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Hit on the ground to the right side. 100%. He takes it on his own. Waddle down. Off hitter gone in the third. Julio Ramos go, digging in for the Rockies. Ramos in his second season. Hitting right off in today's game. There we go. And he's been touching home play quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last ten games. That one hit to right. Got that uh, weak. I go, I go. Makes the grab. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. I'm locked in. Next to hit for the Rockies, warming Bernabel. In there in its own what a name. nice cold Bernabelle ball. Measures six feet even, 180 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Oh my God, cold ball is nasty back to back. That's the third. Oh, nice ground out. Slings it across, and Let's that go. ends the inning. Offense held a check there. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Here's the center fielder, Yonathan Daza. And a pitch. And there's the strike. There we go. And that's in for a strike. You won. That's 0-2. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Let's go. Struck him out. Had him in the chat. Strike three. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire oh, way, what? and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink Come of on. an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. That misses. Oh, Ball fuck. two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, uh, two one. ahead 2-0. Oh, he's put himself in a really good spot. 2-1 now. Here's an Come on, to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swanson. Oh, nope. Gathers and throws Easy, the first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of Let's keeping go, baby. the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Oh. Brian in the box here. Come Let's on. that one go for a ball. Now a check swing, but he held up. How did he not go? 2-0. There's a strike. Oh, yeah, it's 2-1. 2-2. 2 and 2. Swings and misses. Let's go. Struck him out. Case in the chat. Rockies are down quietly. Still no score. Back here at Coors Field, and here is oh my God. Sean no score still. What the fuck? The pitch. That's a strike. Strike one. That's fucking incredible. Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Uh, and on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much oh. all game. Hey, come on now, get him yourself. A one-two. Swing and a miss. Let's go. 
Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Oh, no, okay, I'm not sure what right five, six. Oh, no. On the hitting chart, just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher right, executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. So digging in, number 15. First offering misses badly for ball one. The Rockies yet to pick up a hit here. Next one misses. Oh. Two and oh. Two and oh. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the Ball pitcher three. is afraid of you. He doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. There's a strike three and one. Ah, three and one. And that one fouled Ooh, off. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Save me. Lifted in the air, right field. Kepler. That's you, that's position. you, that's you. Two way down. Go. Next for the Rockies is the DH. Benny Montgomery. In there for strike Go. one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very Go impressive. Two. This has been a treat to watch. Next pitch way upstairs. Oh. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. I don't want to chase that. So you dare be. Zips it across. Let's and go. That is that. One, two, three, go the rock. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Here's the power. Oh my God, catcher. dude. Goodman. Lynch back to work. Yeah, first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Just Ball, missed. Come on. Ball. Just missed. Damn. And now the lefty. That one fouled off. Two and two. All right, two, two. Two, 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 two. The pitch. And that Please just move. misses. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Hit hard. Damn. Be two, 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 Makes the turn two, and heads two, for second. Two. Kepler hustles it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Next to hit, Julio Ramos. That's off the mark. And that's ball one. Goodman leads off second with nobody out. He swings and fouls one off. On the ground, right side. Biggio sends it to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Uh. Warming Bernabelle digging in for the Rockies. And that's in there for strike one. I think ultimately yeah. you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One away with a runner at third. Lifted in the air, right center field. Good, good, good. Makes the grab on the run. Here comes the runner from third. The run comes across and the Rockies score first. It's one nothing. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Oh, right at third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack line. And the pitch. Rip to third, but hit. There we go. Thank and you. And that'll end the inning. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. And here it comes. And that's too high. Oh, come on. In the air, fairly deep to Let right that. field. I got it. I go. One down. Here's right. Chris Bryant now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Come on, up. And that's through there for a strike. 
It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That clips the corner. Uh, can we actually not check the line? Got to get Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. On the ground to short, and the inning is over. Uh. Nothing doing for the Rockies, but they're on top, one nothing. All right. Well, it looks like I took the L again. Back here in Denver. Yeah, the batter down. Oh, let's go. 15. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Oh, my God. Let's go, Trump. That's the third. Oh, not shit out. Throws the first. Let's go. And Come that's on. one away. As the leadoff man is out in the eighth. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Here's Colorado's oh, catcher, DH, okay. Benny Montgomery. Here's a strike. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Gets it to first. Let's go. And a couple of quick outs. Now Two outs, base is empty. Right. Next to hit, Hunter Goodman. I'm pretty sure this is my last push anyway. First offering, misses the mark. I don't think I'm going, I don't think I'm going nine. And that's in for a strike. Yeah. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. I saw you. Me, 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 me. Sanchez makes the catch. Let's go. And that'll do it. Rockies are down quietly, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Let's go. And it's a quality start, too. Come on, guys. Let's Back go, here baby. at Coors Field, last chance for the home team. Now it's the shortstop. Oh, my God, I'm still Julio going. Ramos. All right, here we go. Lynch, back to work. Yeah, that one is in for a strike. I didn't think I was still going. Okay. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and he's on it first. Here comes a skipper. Oh, come on, Skip. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Ken Jai. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your How many on ones did I two. give up? The Cubs go home a winner. So I give up two on ones? Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Listen, it's a quality start. Close to Mars. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Four runs on five hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Rockies, two runs on four hits. No errors. They left four men on base. All right. Shit, who the fuck? Who the fuck messed with me? Run off. Oh, me do. Dream. That's huge. Uh, hold on, chat. Oh, 
Hold on, chat. I went what? Eight innings. Two hits. Seven Ks. Unfortunately, one walk. Two on. Uh, was that four two? Let's go. That was huge. Great outing. Great outing. Great outing. Great fucking outing. Wait. Oh, and I got the equipment pack too. Am I two and one or three and one? I'm feeling right. I'm pretty sure I'm feeling one. Alright. Yeah, feeling one. Feeling one season record. We in one. How many Ks is that? Twenty seven Ks. What's the whip looking like? Whip is a point eight zero. EOA is a one seven one. Innings pitch twenty six and a half. Or 26 and one failed. No, 20, yeah, 26. Win percentage has to be up there, right? 750. My wars officially zero. Well, no, a one. K pool nine is a nine two three. Ball pool nine is a point six eight. Home one pool nine is a point three four. So that's four starts. And free quality. Alright, time to open the pack. Let's see what I got in the pack. Let's see. Oh, all these are ass. So that. All these are fucking ass. Is that a five nine seven? Bam. Bam. All right. Let's see what I'm at in the awards. The uh, the awards. Let's see. How my MVP? Don't know. Cy Young. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Damn. Dude, that's fucking unreal. No, 
piss off, bro. I'm trying to win that. I'm trying to win the gold glove. I'm trying to win the gold glove. Not you. Selfishly, I'm trying to win the gold glove. Like, come on, man. Let me win the gold glove. Like, I'm. I know it's Oli. I know it's Oli, but, bro, well, come on. Eighteen and nine. All right, let's do one more start. Push and pee. Push and pee. Let's get the arm strength going. Need to get the arm strength going. Need to, need to. We'll go. We'll, we'll walk into C connects. We're on C connects. City connects. All right. No eleven nine. We're twelve nine. That's a pitching. This is a pitching matchup. Me versus Jose Beers. Baseball fans and welcome. Interleague baseball on MLB the show. It's the Here Toronto Blue Jays baseball. and the Chicago Cubs. The Blue Jays versus the Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. Come on, man. The fuck we and I use I didn't use any of my credit card. Any of it. Use it. I saved up and I got all the things I need to get for my picture. So just about set now, and on the hill, Avery Lynch. Oh, I'm pretty. Oh, Charles will really catch nice me. Let's fucking hill, go. Chris. NERA in the low twos last year, so consistent, so dependable. Talk about a skipper who's got a guy like that that's going to go out there and not just keep them in the ball game, but really give them an opportunity to win a ball game, even yeah, if it's a most scoring day for the offense. That's who he was last season. And if he's even close to that this year, I think they'll be really happy with his performance. That's a ball. Ready to go. Standing in is the power right. hitting second, second baseman, NL Santiago Central. Espinal. Next one in the dirt. Oh, fuck. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Pitch misses. And now 3-0. and oh. Kicks and fires. And there's the strike. Oh, come on. Swing and a miss. There you go, 3-2. Ah. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a ball. Get that, up. get that, get that. And it falls. 
And aboard on the leadoff single. He's been swinging it really well lately. With the way defenders well, track down on, balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But Jeez. there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Lined, and that's a base no. hit. And that's going to roll no. to the wall. Espinal, round second oh, on his way to third. Him, him, him. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Ah. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off oh, of it. God. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball yeah. in order to hit a line drive like Come that. Come on, man. Vladimir oh, Guerrero one. Jr. stands in now and watches strike one. Oh. Next offering upstairs. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple All-Star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charred. That's a base hit. Oh as my a run God, bro! Three straight hits. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done oh, right there. Bobashek gets a chance to hit. That pitch in for a strike. Strike one. I'm sick right now. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base Four hit. Four straight hit. Runner around third. The throw Four in. Slide save. And they take a two-run lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RB. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Guerrero at second. Bichette on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. Waves at the Let's go. The strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy yeah, in the on. box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh. And there's a ball. Well, that's kind of what Come you expected in an 0-2 count. Right, Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. In the dirt, but kept close. Go. Throw, save. And both runners move up on the wild pitch. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. That misses the zone. Three and two now. Fuck. And they're all loaded up. Did miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. One down. God Next damn it, Avery. Designated hitter, Cletus Hopper. Now this is in the air down got the it, line. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Brings it in. Runner tags for home. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're up by three. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get the stick. Rolls across the diamond. And that is Fuck. that. Three runs for him. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now the center fielder, Justin Williams. Fastball for a strike. That's strike one. Up the middle. Biggio. Oh, one, one, Tosses one. Tosses to first. One out in the second. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. Oh, and one. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Late on that fastball. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Struck oh, him damn. out swinging. The high heat too much on that one. 
So two down now, and here is Orelvis Martinez. You'll one. There's the strike. He's done a great job oh, getting the first two outs. No, no, Got to get this number two hitter get back in the dugout to face three, four, five next three. inning. Struck him Go. out looking. In order. Out of the third inning, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Lynch back to work. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is a to start the inning. Well, that one might sting for a bit, but it helps the team and it boosts the OBP move. Sometimes that trade off is worth it, but well, sometimes it's not. And there's one down. Here's the catcher to hit, Alejandro Kirk. His first at bat was a strikeout. Started to swing, held up. Chris Alejandro Kirk, stocky catcher, an all star in 2022. This guy can Yeah, he can, and really just surprised everyone oh, coming onto the scene, doing such a great job that became an all-star with very ball, little big league experience before that. Guerrero, one at five. first, one gone. Foul ball. And it's filled up. Come on, bro. And look Perfect. out, that one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. The well, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Parsho, batting with one down, takes a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you gotta look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Left hand batter waits. Tap to first. To Ooh. second, that's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Cletus Hopper. The pitch. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, oh, now. Right. And he deals. He Aye. goes down looking. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count. Just a poor at bat. Thomas in the box with ball one away one, no as he takes ball easy one. Out, easy out, plays it first. He was. Check he swing was. at the 1 1. Look down to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Look, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, Go. expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. On to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Justin Williams next up for the Blue Jays. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. There's a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. No, it's like and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. 1, 2, 3. Nothing doing. Back here at Wrigley Field, we go to the top of the fifth. Now here is Santiago Espinal. Swings and misses, and it's 0-1. Here we go. Come on. And a pitch. Oh. And now one and two. Oh, two curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Oh. 
And now for Elvis Martinez. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Yeah, come on. And a liner out into right center for a base. Fuck. Lead runner makes the cut off, cut off, cut off. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Going along. All one for count. On the ground a second, might be two. Over to Swanson, he turns it. And a run scores on the double play. Bo Bichette up to the dish. One for two. Hard on the ground to first. Rubio takes it to the bag. That's the third out. <sighs> two hits. Adbert Alzola gets the ball now. Jeez. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm Jeez John Thanks for I got joining showed. Us. Time of the ball game, two hours and 48 minutes. Our paid attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon, 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely. I just couldn't get out of the... The, the, um, oh. in the force in in. I mean, shit, that's good. Good scouting report. I only went five. My area went up to like a sub three now. I had six Ks, but at the end of the day. I gotta be better for my team. I can't be performing like that. The fourth inning, fucking, oh my god, dude. If I can get a fourth inning back, I would. I would. But it's just not like that. You just gotta learn your lessons and move on. My wood probably like a one now. Still eight nine. Don't know how. EOA is now a two five nine. Uh, 600 win percentage. Uh, 
K.9 is 948. Because I walk so many people, I, I can't be walking people. Yeah, I just kept walking people. That's one save. Listen, I'm free and two. I'm free and two though. Free and two. Just I just gotta dominate next start. Oh shit, I got open packs. Let me do that right now. Sold out shit. Bam. Sold. Nine seven. Eight eight two. Oh, let me, let, me, here, let me go back to the water show real quick. Let me uh, check the award real quick. Yeah, your 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 NL Scion can't be. All uh, right, hold on, chat. chat i'll be right back i'm gonna eat real quick so i'm just i'm just gonna meet the stream real quick but i'm gonna eat okay brb
All right, chat. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Hope you didn't miss me that much. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I can hear check near me. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to eat real quick. I'm gonna eat more, but I just wanted to eat just a little bit. All right. Here we go. Going against Gil Cole. Man Johnson's with Gil Cole. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Sorry. All right, here we go. The show in the you a fucking way. Of division rivals. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Here we go. Yes, so first pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Our starter in this one, Garrett Cole. Singy, he's a guy that can Garrett rack up Cole. a lot of strikeouts. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Now at the plate, Rod Carew. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to watch him evil. Oh my, in the fucking rain. Here comes a pitch. Misses nope. inside. And yeah, this one is off and running. Ball. Off the mark there. Nope. Two balls, no, no strikes ball. to count. That's too well. Just missed. That's Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates, when he went to Houston. Everything changed. More four seamers and more reliance on the breaking ball. Go up. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Let's go, baby. Mark Wu. Tony Gwynn up next for the Red Sox. And first offering is fouled off. Damn. Damn. Credit the analytics and just the great system that the Astros have notoriously had in terms of helping pitchers really discover their potential. But yeah, it's got a great fastball. He's very confident in it, but sometimes that can also hurt him, giving up a lot of home runs. Come on. The pitch. There's the strike at the knees. Oh, wow. Carew on at first. Nobody out. Look out, way inside. Nope, nope, don't move, don't move, stay. No advance though. Righty to the plate. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Cool. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Up and nope. in. Two and two. That's two, two. 
Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches. Oh. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Just outside. He came out of I his know, mechanics too. there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. So stepping in for Boston, Willie Stargell. And that one just nope. misses. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced That's that good. one into center. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. There we go. So one out with two aboard. And next for the Red Sox, Willie Mays. Wow. Leading the AL in batting average. Oh, and two as he hey, leaves Willie. at that one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up Probably in the zone. The pitch He'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Got him swinging. Wow. Two plays. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. Fuck and you, hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late, has really good bite. So dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. One runs in. Jeter caught up now trying to get to third. Morgan relayed a second. The tag, and he's out. Can't get back in time. That ends the inning, but they do pick up. Whatever. Back here in Baltimore. And today's starter, Randy Johnson, singing he is one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, Boogie, he's got some of the best strikeout stuff in the history of the game. Over 4,000 oh. career strikeouts. We'll see how many he's got today. Left hand hitter waits. Ball. Come on, up. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. That pitch started go. in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Ball inside. Off the plate Come on inside. Up. And it's two and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Go. And there's one down. Boog, if you can set up a good two-strike splitter with a fastball on the previous pitch, it's going to be so tough to recognize and adjust your swing to get a piece of it. Clearly had him reaching for it right there. Oh, come on. Ball one, one there. Nope. Red Sox already leading. That clips the corner. There we go. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with. Come on. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through that, Let's and it's go. a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. You no, know, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just oh, having a distraction, no table than. setters on the Honestly, base. I didn't look at the, who were the first two people? I didn't look. Mm -hmm. Donald and Jason Hayward. Yeah, I didn't sudden, look. You're dealing with a number while. three hitter. Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run home. And now two and nothing. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. That one's spoiled and come on. They count now two and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind and the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Come on. Still two and two after the foul ball. Come on, Joe. Give up. And 
That's in the dirt. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Check swing, tried to hold up. Let's that go. Kill the third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. Thanks, One, two, three. Second inning, set to go. Got a batter now. Jason Giambi. Jason Giambi. Cole, back to work. In the air to left center. Braun hauls it in, and there's one Damn. away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And now the catcher comes up to him. Pudge Rodriguez. That was a lot out. <laughs> Just oh missed. Ball. Smash to the left side. Suarez throw to first in time. Damn. That takes care of Rodriguez. The fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Two outs, space is empty. Avery Lynch up next for the Red Sox. There's the swing in a bit. Oh my God, nothing cool. Who got the calls in the low? Next off, bring in the dirt. And it's one and two. Got him looking. Oh my and God. Good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order, go. Back now at Oriole Park. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Austin Riley. That hits the Winner. dirt. And yeah, that's ball one. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big time power. That's the ball. Next offering upstairs. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Yep. Now he doesn't have to worry about going. making mistakes defensively, and oh, he can have better at bats because of it. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Pulls it in on the really warning got it. track. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Ryan Braun at the plate and takes high there. Next offering is foul back. Ball to strike. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Let's Adam go. out front for the strikeout. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive ending here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate oh. might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Ryan Mountcastle in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. There we go. Next offering is foul back. Got one, two. That ball, misses no. off the outside edge. Really good take, Damn. especially with two strikes. How the fuck did he hold off that one? Damn. Two outs. And now it's filled Full up. Count. And 
And that one hammered way back there. On the warning track. Let's go. And holds it in. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. And it remains. Back here at the ballpark, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Schwarber, a left fielder with good range, 30 years old now. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Manically takes it himself. One up, one down. Damn. Here's the second baseman, Rod Carew. Cool. Singled and scored his first time. Ripped on a line. Damon makes the grab. And there's two Come away. On. Tony Gwynn up next for the Red Sox. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh. Gwynn goes 5 feet 11 inches, over 1,000 runs batted in in his Work career. Count. And he Lucky was a 10th round pick in 2023. Bounced up the middle. Over to first. He's out. And that's the third out. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. A. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. That pitch in for a strike. That's strike one. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain not gets yet. any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Let's go. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Roberto Perez standing in. And he'll won. Right through there for a strike. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Slings the first. And two straight set down to begin Whoa. the bottom of the third. Johnny Damon, the next to hit for the Orioles. Johnny Damon. Homer in the ball game That's yesterday afternoon. Ground ball right side. Starjo steps Out. on the bag. That ends the frame. Orioles held in check there. They're down one nothing. Out the one, out the foot. And welcome back. And now Willie Stargell. <sighs> Cole back to work and delivers oh. outside. Nope. When Cole's brother-in-law, Brandon Crawford, took him deep, Cole signed a pair of spikes for Brandon Crawford, one that said adios pelota and the other one that said out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper of the San Francisco Giants. The wide to kick the pitch. Here's a high chopper. Oh, shit. He steps on the bag, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Willie Mays up next for the Red Sox. Oh, come on, Willie. Here we go. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And yeah, the first oh, offering no. is not close. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot come and on. having those that were there was with an a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going. It made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places nope. in all of baseball. Jeter stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Come on. Next pitch misses. Nope. And that's ball two. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. The wind of the pitch. In the air right field. Drop. Under Drop. It. That is the inning.
Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead. Back here in Baltimore, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Don Mattingly. Ball. All right, come on. That's in for a strike. Well, uh -huh. we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. That's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Uh. He was all over that one. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with a well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Hayward in the box lays off for ball one. And fouled off. Come on. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Got one, two. Runner at first with no outs here. Cuts and misses. It's a strike. Go. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like Jason this. Bye -bye. You know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle. Oh, well. and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. That's a strike. And it's another good two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready oh. to pull the trigger, oh, oh, oh. he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And now the lefty. Foul ball still a one yeah. and two count. And a pitch. And yeah. just misses with that Come one. Come on, Rump. That's a really good take. Tried to check his swing. Appealed to third. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. Go so he's got a good through. pace going, no doubt. Kicks and deals. Strike two. And at bat like there this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Swing and a miss, oh. and that is that. That's eight Ks in the cut. Eight Ks. They still trail one nothing. Cut. now at Oriole Park ready now for the fifth inning and stepping in for Boston Jason Giambi right, much yeah, come on hammer base oh, no. hit. so a man perfect, on base perfect. to One start the inning So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, oh, courtesy shit. of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think no. so, Luke. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. There are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. All right, come on. Righty delivers. In for a strike. And it's 0 and 2. Cold night tonight, Boog. And that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. 
Lynch. The batter down oh as he swings and misses for strike one. Hater deals falling behind nope. two and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Hard on the ground to first. Fires to second for one. Back to first. Double play. Nice job getting over. Damn it. Bottom of the inning. Now Brian Braun. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one no. more thing he's got to think about. That just no. misses. Two balls, no strikes. Kicks and fires. In the air, right side. Oh, well, he's under ball. it. Makes the catch. One down. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Pitch misses there. Ball one. And a good eye there. Two and all the count. Here it comes. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Damn it. Wow. Pumps in a strike and now go. three and one the count. To the right side. There we go. Three one. Fires over to first. All oh, after the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ah. Suarez in the box with two gone. Oh, and takes go. a look at a called strike. Swings through that oh, one for strike two. Sharp. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Next one, offering two. way off oh. the plate. Bows that off to the left, and Ooh. we'll do it again. One, two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Oh. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a swing and a miss. Let's down go. on strikes. That's the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still behind Four by a count of one to nothing. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. One home run shy of 200 for his career. First pitch, and he just more. misses. There's a strike. Okay. One one. Swing and a miss. Oh. Gonna count one and two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, come on. And a pitch. Nope. Swings and misses. Ah. Took him out. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. 
Carew up for the third time here. Watches that oh, one miss. On. In the air to left down the line. Oh. Braun has a beat on it. Squeezes it. And there's two down. Tony Gwynn up oh, next for the Red Sox. That one oh, ran inside, woo. almost got him. One ball. Straightened him up no a little strike. bit. Oh, he got 17 now? God damn. And the righty deals. Brown ball to the right side. And foul ball. And a one two. Yeah, the nope. one two misses to even the count. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Hit hard, base hit. There we go. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Grounder off the pitcher to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, yeah, that's we're a great awesome. point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Willie Mays. Oh, come on. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Gwynn rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score. It's two zip. And now a wide throw to third. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. The timing was just perfect. Got a great win on it, and there's just no chance for the infield to how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two outs with runners on the corners. Now it's going to be Derek Jeter. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. On the ground. On the morning, inning ends, and that stops the bleed. But well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 2 0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Let's go, Will Mays. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the catcher, Roberto Perez. And there's the strike. Oh, well. On no paper, ball. it's One favorable strike. to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Next offering is foul back. There we go. <clears throat> and yep, yep. here it comes. Foul ball still 0 and 2. All right. The pitch. Goes down, Luke. Let's go. Sit down. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an Here answer for what he's offering out go. there. Damon had it for the second time, and that's strike one. Next Ball. pitch inside. inside. Come on up. And one and one. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Right, one, two. Here's a one, two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. Come on. Right side. Quinn pulls that Let's one go. down. Two away. 
Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite bear it up going? enough to really drive it. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. And here's the first baseman, Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly. There's the strike. Mattingly only hit. goes 5 feet, 11 inches, 24 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Ball, no. That one off the mark. And that Come is on, ball one. And that's, that's doubted away. That one in for a strike, two and there two. Go. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Adam Simber. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Here comes a pitch. Giambi at the play for the oh, third God. time as he comes up empty there. Uh. The next no. offering misses. Hmm. And now it's even one and one. Tap back up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Fires the first. Dude. And he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. <laughs> so stepping in for Boston. The army got three, Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Oh, oh my. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Ball man going. Ooh. Next pitch has popped up. Manigle makes the grab. And there's one down going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats that pitch looked good but you can't hit it it was just too high in the zone you usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield and first offering is fouled off Giambi the base runner at first with one out come on, come on. next offering is fouled back don't go down Oh my god, uh. Simber is ready. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Damn it. So up next, Kyle Schwarber. On the ground to first, and it goes just foul. Damn it. The other way. On to Morgan. Out number three. And yeah, the Red Sox. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Jason Hayward. And the first oh, pitch misses for ball one. All right, hold on, chat. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. All right, hold on, chat.
Alright. Sorry about that chat. I just send I send the boys the James Club. Yeah. Strike. That one the other way. Makes the grab one away. And now Joe Morgan who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. to the right tosses to first yeah. let's go and a couple of quick outs don't <laughs> impress with this guy's internal clock he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step secure his grip on the baseball and make a strong accurate throw oh, that's right down. at the plate now that's Come ball on. one out to short Jeter inning over let's go Nothing doing this time around for the O's. One, two, three. Easy. Keegan Aiken takes over on the mound. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Oh. Now at the plate as he swings through oh, strike on. one. That's in there. Shit. No balls, two strikes. Nope. One. Damn. I oh, was just only okay. The pitch. And another nope. ball. The punch out there. One gone here. Oriole Park, still one of the most beautiful ballparks in all of oh baseball. Oh, my God. I can't say another franchise does it better than Baltimore. The opening day ceremony, the players come in from the outfield through the center field wall, long orange carpet, so many fans here. Just a great place. And that one is Whoa. inside. That signature warehouse in right field as well. You talk about knowing where you are, a sense of place. I mean, who could forget Griffey hitting the home run off of the warehouse in the home run derby? But always when shots are framed, you see that building, and you know exactly where you are. Camden Yards. Next nope. pitch is outside. And when teams started building sort of state-of-the-art ballparks, Baltimore was the first organization to do it up the way that they did. It really created a mold for other organizations to follow when upgrading oh, or on. building new ballparks. Puts the squeeze on it, two down. Yeah, this really was the first old-school new ballpark that we saw in the major leagues. Come on. Here's your one. On the ground to third. Lays out. He's got it. And very nicely done for the out. Wow. And welcome back. And here is Ryan Broad. Johnson back to work. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Oh, no. Next offering is in for a strike. Pot of looking for the K. Let's go. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. That one drilled left field. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Swing and a miss. Strike one. 
Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very oh, least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Next offering is foul back. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And the pitch. Outside corner got him Whoa. looking. He can't believe it. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked now very right. comfortable Catcher. with the plate. A little Open unsure of his timing right now. Not now picking right. up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. And next for the Orioles, Roberto Perez. Swing and a oh, miss. So what's this? What's the, you are That's right. strike oh, one. Good eye oh. right there. We're so far down. The tying run at the plate. And now the one count two. one and two after the swing and the miss. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Go. Snuck the fastball by him. One left for the Orioles. And they're down two nothing. All right. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Eli Morgan. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. The wind of the pitch. Mays, the leadoff batter, as he swings for it for strike <coughs> one. <coughs> All right, come on. A little out front there as he swings through. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. And next for the Red Sox, Derek Jeter. Fuck you. Foul ball there. Morgan. In his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. 0-2 oh now. In the dirt, Perez collects, fires the first. Out. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's oh faced. Oh, my God. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. Well struck right field. It bangs off the wall. Everything came okay. together perfectly for him right there. That pretty much split the zone Let's down go, the middle, and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. Stepping in, Pudge Rodriguez. And first offering is fouled off. Giambi, the runner at first with two gone. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. No, oh, fuck. The other way, knocks it down. The hit. So two down, and stepping in for Boston, Avery Lynch. This guy has turned into a beast. On the ground right side, they take the force out, and that is that. Tonight, here's the center fielder, Johnny Damon. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. Now he breaks his bat. Tries the bare hand, and it gets by him. Safe at first as they can't make the play. It was a healthy cut. Yeah. The same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging bunt. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Goes to second for one. Let's go. The first double play. One six two there. <laughs> Big spot here, bottom of the ninth, down to their final out. 
Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. No, that's the ball. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. Right foul. Left hand batter waits. Out to short. Throw to first. Okay. Game, and the Red Sox claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Drive home safely. Welcome everyone. Let's jump yeah, right in. Was, the news was like a, I don't know what was. Looking first at the American League East, the Bo Sox put together 10 total hits as they beat the O's in Baltimore 2 to nothing. The Houston Astros racked up 11 hits as a team as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg 8 to 7. The Jays sent 3 balls into the seats as they took down the Chai Sox in front of a home crowd 7 to 6. The Minnesota Twins pounded out 17 hits in this one as they defeated the visiting Yankees 11 to 9. The Cleveland Guardians totaled 11 hits as they bested the visiting Rockies 4 to 2. The A's got 18 yeah, no hits what it is. as they destroyed the Angels 10 to 2. The Miami Marlins pitched well allowing only 3 hits as they pulverized the Braves 7 to nothing. The Rangers pitched well, allowing only three hits as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati, 3 0. The Tigers took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee, 10 to 2. I'm Boys. done with him talking. All right, we'll play that tomorrow. So, go first, go finish the series tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll finish it. But we'll end Destiny Boy, ML1, AK Lunch, and I'm out. Peace.